Hello friends, today we are going to talk about coronavirus which is po uh, posing a huge challenge to humanity and we will also discuss the efforts that are being made to contain it if not stamp it out altogether. Coronavirus is proving to be something like the demon uh, Raktabij of Hindu mythology. Each time its one variant is mortally wounded, the virus mutates and multiplies at a terrifying speed. So there is any number of variants. The latest to catch, uh, the latest to catch attention of scientists is the C1.2 variant which is changing and mutating at an alarmingly rapid rate. It was first detected in China, then South Africa and England in June 2021. However, there is no evidence yet of it turning into a pandemic and that is a sort of relief. Some experts feel that this variant may not travel far and may die soon. A contagious disease tends to spread far and wide, but not all contagions have identical reach. It is a pandemic when an infection spreads across several countries and continents, as COVID-19 has done. However, certain diseases which may or may not be infectious or contagious do not go beyond a community or a region. They they spread in a particular area and slowly die out. These are called epidemics and we know of uh, such epidemics as smallpox, plague, measles and polio and these are really prime examples of epidemics. However, an endemic is a disease that becomes a constant feature in a particular community or region. For example, dengue and encephalitis in certain parts of India during or immediately after the monsoons uh, are the examples which are quite family, we are familiar with. So an endemic disease may appear and disappear seasonally in the same population. Unlike pandemics and epidemics, an endemic is predictable, the other two are not predictable. They may or may not occur where they will occur and how they will occur and what will be the extent of the damage they would be able to do is something always in the realm of conjectures. We all know that coronavirus first appeared in China's Wuhan province during the second half of 2019. Thereafter, it spread across the globe at a mind-boggling pace, destroying lives and economies economies all over the world. It, it, it has done a really a huge damage to global economy as well as individual economies of nations, including India's. Coronavirus is essentially of three types, SARS, MERS and COVID-19. They belong to the family of RNA viruses that attack a person's respiratory system. These can prove fatal too. RNA viruses have ribonucleic acid as their genetic material. SARS or severe acute respiratory syndrome spreads through talking, sneezing and coughing. Right now its fatality rate is about 9%. MERS or the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome also spreads through the respiratory droplets from the nose or mouth of an infected person. People above 60 and suffering from diabetes or hypertension are more vulnerable. Its mortality rate is 34%. That's huge. COVID-19 is the latest version of coronavirus. It is closely related to SARS and certain types of common cold. In fact, many times even a common cold is mistaken for 
coronavirus which uh, can only be ascertained by uh, a proper medical checkup now this covid is actually an acronym and its co the first two letter co stands stand for corona the next two vi for virus and d for disease formerly this disease was referred to as 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 and cov it spreads through the respiratory droplets released from the mouth and nose of an infected person just as in the case of sars shortness of breath and dry cough are two major symptoms of covid-19 people above 65 years or suffering from any medical condition or immunity deficit are at a higher risk of catching covid-19 it has a comparatively low fatality rate of only 3.4% it is only 10% of what damage the mers can do recently the world health organization notified the mu as a variant of interest it was first found in colombia in january 2021 and has been found in about 39 countries so far it might be able to evade some of the protection provided by covid vaccines to uh, people however it doesn't seem to be out competing the delta variant which is dominant across most of the world a variant of interest is the one that the who identifies as capable of harming people's health eta iota kappa and lambda are the other variants of interest these have been identified by the who but right now delta is giving a tough time to scientists and virologists viruses evolve to become more infectious but less virulent over time that is their, their uh, normal nature this virus however has evolved to become more infectious and more virulent the delta is radically different from the virus that appeared in wuhan in china in late 2019 i have mentioned this earlier also the previous uh, the previous virus the original virus this variant that is delta has had so much time to mutate that it has become nearly impossible to control it effectively it has developed capabilities to merge with other strains and thus avoid human immune systems at least partially if not completely but this is enough for it to change the course of the pandemic it is really a very very tricky virus andrew reed an evolutionary biologist at pennsylvania state university says and i quote him we are much better at explaining the past than predicting the future it is very very tricky to know what's possible until it happens it is not physics it doesn't happen on a billiard table quotes close unquote and then evolution after all is driven by random mutations which are impossible to predict we do not know what shape the next mu- mu- uh, mutation will take or the variant will take after mutation in the us it has been discovered that the delta strain's ability to mutate at a rapid pace has reduced the effectiveness of most vaccines to 60% during a press briefing at the white house dr vivek murthy the surgeon general said we are concerned that this pattern of decline we are seeing will continue in the months ahead which could lead to reduced protection against severe diseases hospitalization and even death however there is a silver lining the current spikes in cases and deaths 
are the result of a novel coronavirus meeting the naive immune systems which are not used to such a contagious invasion at such a scale when enough people have gained immunity through either vaccination or infection let us hope it is through vaccination the coronavirus will transition to what epidemiologists call endemic endemic it won't be eliminated but it won't disrupt our lives anymore there will be fewer hospitalizations and fewer deaths from covid-19 cases may continue to rise and fall seasonally but the worst outcomes will be avoided assuming that the covid 19's ability to mutate is not infinite that we have to assume if it is infinite infinite then the battle may continue forever sometimes the scientists will get an upper hand sometimes the virus will and let's keep our fingers crossed dhruv khuller a physician and an assistant professor at vale cornell medical college explained in the new yorker that there are three ways the coronavirus will continue to evolve first the virus simply fails to find a way to escape vaccine generated immunity as had happened with measles mumps polio and smallpox second the virus manages to partly evade the vaccine's protection but at a price and the, that is a decline in infectiousness or lethality for example this scenario occurred with hiv in the 1990s when the virus developed a mutation that increased its resistance to an antiviral drug but lowered its rate of replication inside the body those are another uh, scary years third the most concerning the virus manages to find a way around vaccine generated immunity while maintaining or even gaining transmissibility or lethality or both no vaccine is perfect a small number of people get hospitalized with covid-19 or even die after being vaccinated these people often have other health issues the variants could cause the vaccines to lose some of their effectiveness and cause symptomatic disease at higher rates and even increase the rate of severe disease or death it would be nightmarish if the virus changes in ways that completely escape immune response while preserving its lethality and transmissibility however scientists dismiss such a scenario as unlikely they point out that future variants could dent some of the defenses but the immune response should still generally be able to protect us against severe disease our first line of defenders is antibodies some of which are trained to recognize specific components of the virus and prevent it from infecting human cells if mutations change those components then perhaps the antibodies geared to identify the virus might be fooled however the search for the perfect vaccine is going on at a feverish pace a study published in the scientific journal molecules it states that the molecule produced by the jarara kusu pit viper inhibited the inhibited the virus's ability to multiply in monkey cells by 75% this snake is found in brazil and measures up to 2 meters rafael guido a university of sao paulo professor and an author of the study told writers and i quote him we were able to show this component of snake venom was able to inhibit a very important protein from the virus unquote then there is the llama a beautiful animal found mainly in bolivia peru ecuador 
chili and argentina along with soulful eyes long necks and fuzzy coats lamas have a less known gift and that is they make an array of immune system antibodies that can dismantle an invading virus according to scientists lamas have antibodies called nanobodies which could be used to neutralize not just the original coronavirus strains but also its emerging variants lama nanobodies are much more stable than human antibodies which can play a vital role in fighting covid-19 globally researchers from the vib eugen center for medical biotechnology say antibodies extracted from a llama have blunted the virulence of coronavirus infections including variants in laboratory testing of course it is still at the lab, lab stage the technology which would supplement rather than replace vaccines by protecting people with weaker immune systems and treating infected people in hospitals is a potential game changer well let us hope this comes true and the 21st century raktvij demon is finally slain never to be never to terrorize humanity again thank you for being with me i hope you liked it i'll come back with another episode very soon bye bye